Hello, wonderful world of YouTube, it's Alex, and today I am going to be making a review on the brand new 10.0.312 LEGO Jazz Club. Now you see, this is the 18th mod of the building in the line, and the uh, fourth year in a row I went to go get it on New Year's Day. I'll make a video talking about that later. This set has 2,899 pieces, 8 minifigs all throughout the build, and 2 animals actually. So, let's get started by looking at the first floor of the building. The first floor here features a lot of action. The entrance to the jazz club and a pizzeria, along with the stairs to the second floor, which leads to a tailor shop and other things. We look over here, and you can take a look down and see the beautiful jazz club, with the stage, with a saxophone, lighting, and curtains. The curtains, unfortunately, do not close. But, I think it's okay, because I just like the look of it. If we turn the building around... You could look inside the pizza parlor over there for the entrance, but also it's a door, which when you open it, reveals a bathroom. There is a little bathroom and a toilet in there, a little toilet paper, and there's even a sink. Pretty neat details. The pizza parlor doesn't have any indoor seating, only the table over there. It also has a little oven over there, which if you could see it, but you really quite can't, does have a flame inside. There's a pizza, some sausage, some dough, and a shelf with some other cooking accessories. On the exterior over here for the pizza parlor, there's this weird windowed looking detail thing that helps cover up the connection pin to the rest of the buildings. I honestly find that it's actually pretty neat. It, it's a little awkward, but at the same time, it makes the building a lot less clunky. Now let's move on to the second floor and take a look at the upstairs details. The second floor of the jazz club has many details. Starting on the exterior, you can see hanging lavender plants, along with a nice iron bar detailing with these bright yellow columns, with a nougat background for the windows. Over here on the jazz club portion, you can see stained glass windows, along with a nice big center window behind the sign, along with the rest of the sign here. On the inside here, you can see a record player, a desk angled at a 45 degree angle with a telephone and a lamp, and a painting. This is the manager's office, which has a balcony overlooking the main stage to listen to the music. Over here is the center staircase and hallway, which leads to the office, tailor, or back here, a small balcony. The tailor shop has a lot of neat details, like fabric, a lamp, a little fireplace that takes the heat from the, the furnace below, a mannequin, and a sewing machine. What's neat about the construction of the second floor is you build the red part of the building first, and then later on you build the yellow. Meaning it's possible, if you really wanted to, to rebuild the set with just one of the two buildings here without the other one. Albeit a little awkward due to the un the base system scale, but it would still work. Let's move on now to the third floor. The third floor has some pretty cool details, like the same stained glass windows Although with some neat little window designs, like this here. It also has a greenhouse, with some plants being grown by the chef from the pizza parlor. On the inside here is a little changing room of some sort, with music, a couch, art, a little bin, and a makeup table. With, unfortunately, a non-reflective mirror, but it does have a metallic silver 2x4 tile. Over in the hallway here is not much going on, just a ladder to the roof access, a plant, and that's really about it. And in the greenhouse here, you open it up, and you can see all the plants that are growing in there, like a tomato plant, a carrot, some herbs, and probably something else. And that really sums up the top floor of this building here, and now let's move on to the roof and the final thoughts. The roof doesn't have much going on here. It has lots of plate details and molded brick details to really get a nice shaping done. It also has a little squirrel's nest, which is the second animal, followed by the rabbit down here in the set. Overall, I think the set is a very well-built design. It looks good next to other modular buildings, including the custom corner store that I built. I think it looks really good next to it, which is unintentional, as this building was designed a whole year prior, if you remember the live streams. And it also shows this nice wall detail on the first floor really being used well, as it kind of helps transition to the upper floors. And overall, the height difference doesn't seem to be too apparent when placed next to another building, which is nice. Overall, I think this set's really worth the money, and really worth the build. 
If you enjoy the modular building line, I think you will enjoy this one a lot. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to subscribe and, well, I'll see you guys around. Peace out.